an important new medical discovery to tell you about. For many pregnant women, morning sickness is debilitating and a painful part of what is normally one of the most joyous times in your life. In fact, two-thirds of women feel nauseous during pregnancy. As CBS's Janet Shamlian shows us, we may now know the cause, sparking hopes for a treatment. They call it morning sickness, but it can happen any time of day. In pregnancy, it's nausea and vomiting, generally in the first trimester. But what causes it has been mostly speculation until now. It's a single hormone called GDF-15, according to a new study in the journal Nature. How can the findings help treatment for women who experience this? We can both increase it, this hormone, prior to pregnancy to desensitize women and prevent it. Another mechanism is to lower the hormone during pregnancy. Bezo, who's been studying this for 20 years, was so sick with her second pregnancy, she had a miscarriage. Moms like Amy Schumer and Kate Middleton have been public about their struggles with a rare but more severe form of morning sickness that can lead to malnutrition, weight loss, dehydration, and even death. How badly did you feel? I felt pretty rough in the mornings. I was on the floor in the bathrooms, really just trying to get through the mornings and sometimes the middle of the afternoons, depending on when it was. Sarah Bellin has been sick with both of her pregnancies and was hospitalized twice for dehydration. Yeah. You ready? She's hopeful the study's findings can help women like herself. It would make things a lot better for women during a really stressful, hard time, you're already tired, and it's one less thing to have to worry about. There are clinical trials underway for drugs that block the hormone, but those are for illnesses. They are not for pregnancy. That said, researchers are hoping to start testing soon treatment for the most serious cases of morning sickness. Nora? That's hopeful for many people. Janet Chamley, and thank you.